Hey everybody, uh, Brian from Ball Guy Sai. Welcome back to this series on remote uh, teaching tools. So if you're just joining us for this particular video and you haven't seen the rest of the playlist, I'll put a card right there. You can go check that out. Um, but this time we're going to be talking about Flipgrid. And so how can Flipgrid be used to help you remotely teach or just to up your game this fall and beyond? So let's get to the video. <laughs> All right, guys, so if you don't know anything about Flipgrid, Flipgrid is essentially a video platform that allows you to interact with your peers or your students uh, in a way that's really pretty highly engaging. So if you're familiar with Snapchat, it's a little bit of that, uh, a little bit of TikTok maybe, um, but at least brought into the educational platform. So kids use the camera on any device to record a video, and, and that could be to whatever you've prompted them to do. So uh, basically what you're gonna do is go to click educator sign up or log in if you have your account, and your students would just go down to enter a flip code, pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna go ahead and click educator login because I already have an account, and I'm assuming you know how to create one with your own Google account. Uh, first off, I have this thing set up where I've created my own personal mission statement, uh, that mission statement, but I'm actually going to use it in my classroom this year for engagement when I may not be engaging with the students face to face like normal. So what I decided to do, there are three things that I've pulled out for my own personal mission statement. They're pretty general. I think you can apply them to your own life as well, but it says my life will be about creating moments that provoke involuntary laughter, incessant learning and inspirational living wherever I am. So I have these three things that I'm gonna run throughout the year. One is just to make me laugh. So give kids an opportunity to share something they thought was funny, uh, to be creative, to teach me something, so something they care about, and then uh, inspire me. So every single week, I start off the week with a quote that's inspirational. I just did my um, my first one for YouTube and I'm probably gonna end up re-recording it, but it's an amazing, amazing quote by Howard Thurman, and I'll link that video right there if you wanna go check it out. Um, but essentially, be, he what he says is, you gotta find what brings out the passion in your life, and then go do it. And you will find that people will follow you, will appreciate that value, um, and you'll make a difference, and you'll be happier. And there's a whole lot of other implications. But essentially, that's what got me to do this. But it's also what I'm asking students to do, is share something that inspires them with me. So these basic things, are called grids, okay? So my 2020 mission statement um, grid has three topics. Make me laugh, teach me something, and inspire me. And they're active, right? I can click a drop down, I can freeze it so that the kids can still see the response, but um, it's not live anymore, or I can hide it where they can't see it at all. Right now, because I haven't started the school year yet, these are just ready to go. I can click share and I can share them with this code directly um, to a website, to Google Classroom or to Remind if your school uses that. And um, so then with other actions, I can record a response myself right from the dashboard. I can add different guests, um, add it to the Disco library, which we'll get to in just a minute, hide it, all sorts of stuff. So that's pretty self-explanatory. I can click on edit just to help you see how this works. So you just create a topic in your grid and that topic is you title it, you give them some more instructions. These can be crazy detailed or really simple. I just made them very simple, but you can add links and, and all sorts of other stuff in here. You set the time that you want the kids to be able to shoot a, a, a this is my video focus, uh, which is just a, just a goofy picture. And then whether or not you want moderation. So if you are concerned that you know you can't really release full control to your kids just yet, you might want to hold videos for moderation. Once you've established culture and things like that in your classroom, then you can release that control. But um, students would then have, in this case, 60 seconds to do sing a song, tell a joke, a story, to skit, make a face, something that they think would make me laugh. And, and that just adds to the human quality of my class, even though I, I may not get that face-to-face -face as often as I'd like, this way we can connect. So this is one of the things I'm gonna be using Flipgrid for, and that's a grid that I have for that, is my mission statement grid. Now, another one, which is the one I used in this past year for advisory, you see, I just had two basic topics and there's 90 videos from, from previous years in there. But um, I also created one for you guys. So right now, I created a grid 
And that grid, if I go ahead and tell you how to get there, it's just Bald Sai Remote. So if you go in there and you can view it as a student and you can actually um, actually respond to these. So the very first video that I did in this series on remote teaching tools is right here. If you wanted to record a video response to that, you could do it in Flipgrid. Um, I did one on Edpuzzle. Now this one is on Flipgrid Ideas. So right now, if you've actually used um, Ideas or you've used Flipgrid in the past, I, I have a wakelet in here that is something I'm tying in some additional ideas. So I pulled a wakelet in as my topic of focus that basically allows people to look at different ideas for using Flipgrid and then to record a response to that uh, document, okay? Maybe if you have your own wakelet of ideas from Flipgrid, you found something on uh, Twitter or, or another video on YouTube and you wanted to post it, here's a great place to do it. So it allows people to sort of bring together their ideas. Now, with that said, as a science teacher, how would I use this? Um, one, I like to do demonstrations. And typically for middle school students, which is the level that I teach, they struggle sometimes putting their thoughts into words or sometimes to actually communicate in words what they're better at on paper. So it depends on the type of student. So I might actually work this two directions. I might have them record their thoughts, their observations, their predictions, their explanations, their ideas, and then take that into a Google Doc and write out a script and then edit the script. Or for students that works the other way, I might actually have them write out their ideas, uh, slowing their brain process down, create a script, and then record a video. So actually, we have a chance to actually enter this, this uh, review process where we say something or think something unfiltered. And then we have a chance to reflect on that and write it out a little bit better, maybe check our grammar, maybe improve our vocabulary, maybe have a peer check on it, and then put it out as a more professional video script in Flipgrid later on. Now, a lot of that is actually built right in. So I'm gonna go back to my advisory and I'm gonna zip down to this cool quote. So I generally will do my morning, my Monday morning quotes, things that I think are really pretty awesome, right? So I did one from Conan O'Brien. I started it off the year, he says, uh, Conan O'Brien says, nobody in life gets exactly what they thought they were going to get. But if you work hard and you're kind, amazing things will happen. Great quote, right? So I engage my students and I said, hey, what, what do you think about that quote? Or give me an example of where this quote applies in your life. And as we scroll down, I, um, this one student has 110 views to his video. Now, I only had 63 responses, but this got viewed 110 times. So someone uh, went back and actually watched the student's response a couple times. Now, I had it turned off where kids could respond to each other because this was one of the first ones I'd done. But a lot of teachers would find it really helpful as time goes by to have students respond to one another, critique, comment, encourage them, and that can be done a lot of ways. So how might you use Flipgrid as a video engagement tool to create culture or to be wrapped up in some assignments that you might be doing for your class? Um, if you assign an article for students to read, have them respond to the article with a video. If they have an idea for a project, if you are asking them to um, respond to your remote video lecture, if you're doing that kind of thing, or to propose ideas, a brainstorming session, there are literally um, hundreds and hundreds of examples. And, and I'm going to link that um, Wakelet down in the description. But I went on Wakelet. If you're not familiar with that, it's a tool I probably should review that if you just search Flipgrid on Wakelet, I know that's weird to be app smashing like that. There are tons and tons and tons of Wakelets on how to use Flipgrid, particularly for your grade, for your content area, uh, for your region, for whatever. And the creativity of all of us comes together in that one place to make this tool even more awesome for you and for your students this year. So that is Flipgrid. I realize it's not super detailed, but it's just enough to whet your appetite so that you can dive right in uh, and figure out how to use it for yourself.
Uh, if you have an idea that you think is just crazy, put it in the comments or better yet, go to my Flip Bald Sci Remote and find the one on Flipgrid and start recording some responses for me and for anybody else that might see them. Okay, guys, that is Flipgrid. And if you haven't been checking out any of the other videos in the series, go ahead and check that out right there. And if not, we will see you back next time for a gim kit. I'm probably going to do one on a wakelet and we'll throw Hyperdocs in there to bring it all the way back around. But uh, until next time, this is Brian with Ball Guy Sci. Uh, stay awesome. We'll see you later.